So what happened was in 1892, the Democrats won, and then there was a big recession, and revenue stopped coming in, and then the Republicans came back in in 96, and they in instituted a tariff, and the tariff, unfortunately, did not have the effect that they wanted. It did not raise revenues. It was called the Dingley Tariff, as you can see. And so the, uh, all of a sudden, Congress was faced with a huge deficit in their times. And you asked about numbers. Uh, the deficit was $44 um, million, dollars, uh, maybe as much as we pay a baseball player today. Uh, but that was a large number of those days. And you, you have the deficit is whining to the congressman. And Tuck, Puck is making the point, your crummy tariff resulted in this bad result. Was Andrew Carnegie the Bill Gates of his time? I, I think so. Um, I, I was hesitating. He wasn't the richest man. Um, Rockefeller was richer, uh, Morgan Hatt was more powerful, but I think uh, Carnegie was more philanthropic. So what um, are we looking at? So what's happening here, and this, this, you could publish this cartoon in January of this year. Um, the, what the puck is saying, the policies of the American government are making uh, the richest people in the country even richer. The, on the right, you have activities by Congress. On the left, you have the workers, and they're filling the pockets of uh, people like Carnegie. And ironically, was in the last couple of days, uh, um, Mr. Buffett announced that the tax cut accorded him a $29 billion uh, um, uh, reward. So you could have put Mr. Buffett right there where Mr. where Mr. Carnegie is. And along those lines, the bosses of the Senate, the influence of money and politics and uh, industry titans. So this is one of the most famous Puck cartoons ever. Uh, if you take a look at the top left, it says people's entrance closed. And if you look at the, this is the Senate of the monopolies, for the monopolies, by the monopolies. It, uh, the Puck is saying, and this was a very, very famous cartoon, that the senators are really the senator from the steel trust, the copper trust, Standard Oil. And all the senators are are just representatives of the special interest. And all our government is, is the government of the special interest, for the special interest. And at the time, the big bugaboo was monopolies, the trusts. And the, so that's uh, who they represent. And we will conclude on that note. The book is What Fools These Mortals Be, The Story of Puck. Michael Alexander Kahn, the co-author, thank you for being with us. Thank you.